are members of the Hall of Fame Induction Committee. Legends, members, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud, honoured and delighted to represent my dad, Hugh Tawney, at his induction as a member of the Hall of Fame. Dad was born in Rapanup in 1908 and started playing football after the family moved to the Mallee district of Patchewalloch. His brother Vince, who's here with us tonight, was a young child when Dad started playing football up there. And Vince tells that the first competition in Patchy was between Deering and Bearing, and they played on a reserve at Romeo's Dam. It was a clay ground, he said, and when wet, it was sloppy and muddy. Vince recalls being there when everyone was dirty, filthy, covered in mud. When the game finished, both teams raced over the bank of the dam and into the water. Vince says there were no dressing rooms. After they washed, they came back, got on their horses or buggies and went home. In 1933, Dad and two others from Patchy were invited to try out with South Melbourne. So they came down by train to Melbourne. They didn't do any good there. Vince thinks that South were premiers that year, so they were probably doing fine themselves. The two others went home, but Dad went to stay with an uncle in Mooney Ponds, who got him an inn at Essendon. He got a game, but they didn't win any of his first 14 matches, winning only one in the season. But he must have had something, because he retired from Essendon as vice-captain 10 years later in 1943. He had never had a coach before Essendon, Vince says. At Dad's retirement function from the fire brigade, almost 30 years later, Dick Reynolds, his captain for many years, told of Dad's arrival at Essendon. Dick said that he was a young fellow. Dick was a young fellow starting off at the time. They were in the rooms and were told that a big tall man was coming to play with them. He said, in walked this tall, lanky, thin-faced bloke, and Dad at the time was the tallest playing footballer, six foot four. Not much these days, but then it was something. Jack Dyer was sort of next, six foot one or two, and our mother never had much time for Jack because he knocked Dad's front two teeth out. <laughs> Dick said Jack, Dad was a fantastic handballer, and Uncle Vince describes his handball style. He says he would go up, elbows into his ribs, and then his long, big arms would shoot up at the finish to grab the ball, which he would then handball to Dick. Thank you again to the selection committee for this great honour. Dad would be very, very proud, as indeed are his family members. <laughs> 